Hey guys, thank you for visiting my channel. Um, if you're new here, hi, I'm Julie. Please feel free to check out my other videos, leave a comment below, click like if you like this video, and um, don't forget to subscribe. Okay, so today I have a Dollar Tree haul and like kind of like a Walgreens mini haul and then like a tanning... I guess tutorial all in one. I don't know. I have a lot of things to talk about. So let's just jump into it. So I'm going to start with what I bought at Dollar Tree. And um, I have been seeing these wet and wild brushes. And I need some more brushes because I only have a couple. So I bought. Oh, here's the other one. I bought three of them. Um. The first one is this flat top one. And I actually got this to apply um, self tanner with, except because I use like a tanning mousse, except it's been breaking me out lately, so I had to switch to a lotion. Not happy about that, but I'll find another use for it. The other one I got was this powder brush because I really don't have a fluffy powder brush at all. So I got that one. And then I found a concealer brush because I also don't have a concealer brush. I really like the colors of these. Wet n Wild is really, really, really good um, with all their products. So I'm a fan of Wet n Wild. Okay, so then I got, I need more hair bands, so I got hair bands. And then um, I found these hair donuts and I had never used one before. This is actually the second one I purchased. Here's the other one, and I wore it to work the past couple days, and um, I was watching tutorials on, like, how to use it and stuff, so I learned how to use it, and it's really easy, and you can actually make really cute hairstyles with it, so I picked up another one. And then um, I always need more bobby pins. I actually had a thing of them, and I could not find them, so I bought these, and then, of course, today, I found the rest of my bobby pins. There's, like, half of them, like, like this much of them still left on the thing. And I'm like, of course. So, but that's okay. I will use them. And then I got, um, not very exciting, but I did get some latex gloves because I use gloves when I um, do self-tanning. Except latex was a bad choice because, like, like the lotion that I use it like dries really fast so like I'll be rubbing it on or whatever and then it'll start to dry and it's like it's like the glove like doesn't it's like hard to rub with it drying and like with latex gloves but that's okay I'll use these to take care of my tortoise because I found some vinyl gloves in my bathroom so it's okay and then um, I also got I don't know why, but I have been craving ring pops so bad lately. I have no idea why. I've not had these since I was a kid. And, like, I've been craving ring pops for almost two weeks. So I got ring pops. Oh, well. And then um, I always need more pens. So I did get these because I do like the clicky pens with the grip on them. And then I also... I wasn't planning on getting any more, but I found this one. And it's so pretty. And, like, if you've been following my channel, you know how much I like pink. Well, at first, I only found this in green. And then um, I saw I saw purple ones. And I'm like, man, if, they, if only they had pink. So I kept searching through them, and this was the last pink one. And I was so happy to find it. And look, it has a pink gem on the top. Oh, my gosh. I love this pen. I'm pretty sure the rhinestones will start falling off eventually, but oh well. And then um, I found this. I'd never heard of these before. They're basically a, a what is it? Um, insect repellent in a wristband. And it says it's deep free. Um, I don't really know that much about deep, but I thought it was like good at repelling insects I don't know though but we'll see how well this works so I did get this and then 
um, I have a magic mesh that I got for my, um, screen, or, um, my glass sliding doors for my, um, what's it called? Gosh darn it. Balcony. That's what it's called. I live in a high rise now. I'm on the top floor. So my, the screen door that came with it doesn't fit the doorway at all. And like yesterday, the wind almost blew it completely off my balcony. So I got a magic mesh and it's been working out very well for me, except the, um, at like the top, it comes with, um, Velcro adhesives. And the ones at the top haven't been sticking very well to um, the, it's a metal frame that I have it stuck to. And that's my fault because I didn't think to like uh, clean off like the, you know, the stuff, the grime or whatever. Not grime, but I don't know. There's just like leftover residue of like, I don't know, something, whatever. But anyways, they haven't been sticking very well. So I bought some more... Um, these are a dime a dozen, so I bought some more of these Velcro strips. And then I also got a sanding block so that um, I can sand away like the, the residue or whatever, like the surface so it sticks better. So, um, yeah, and that's all I got from the Dollar Tree. And then I also went to Walgreens. I only got a couple of things from there. Um, I finished all my projects, my DIY projects, and I got bored, and I didn't know what to do. So I figured, all right, well, I'm pale. I need to start self-tanning for the summer. So um, I already have one of these that's almost gone, and I got another one because I've only been applying it to my face, and I like the way it looked. So um, I got one to apply to my body. The only thing is, though... I also got this one to apply to my body first because this one doesn't go on dark enough and I've never used this before so it looks dark already though so I went ahead and I already applied this I don't know if you can see it's pretty dark already but I went ahead and already applied it to my body and this was like an hour ago, maybe a little bit less than an hour. And it says to wait two to four hours before showering. So um, I'm going to wait and see how dark it goes on. And then if I need to, I'll just... Oh, here's the other open one. I'll just like apply a layer of this or whatever. So I got that. And then um, I also got a nail kit. And I'm going to talk to you guys. I love these nails, but I'm going to talk to you guys about these nails in just a second. I want to go back to the self tanner real quick okay so I don't know if any of you have ever used self tanner from the company Sun Goddess but I have purchased um, two mitts from them and then they included like free samples which I haven't even used yet um, because they had bad reviews so I still have the samples but anyways the second mitt actually I purchased one mitt the second one was a replacement look do you see that Do you see where the fuzziness is missing now need I remind you I wash my mitt after every use and I let it completely dry before I use it again one of the times that I went to self tan this fuzz was coming off on my skin and I was not happy so the seller sent me a replacement so earlier today I went to self tan with my other mitt which I ended up throwing in the trash because guess what the same thing happened again the fuzz came off on my arm and luckily like it was immediately that was the only part that I had self tanned but I was not happy I had to like wash it off and um, go get gloves and start over I was really 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 upset so I threw that one out I'm gonna throw this one out um, I don't know if anybody else has had better experiences with their mitts, but I mean, I don't really recommend them because I've gone through two of them, had the same thing happen. I don't like them, but they might work for you. So let me go back to these nails, okay? Now, I know I have my other videos with the Kiss Brush on Gel Nail Kit, and I have to tell you, I liked that kit for 
a little while, but I don't like it anymore. I think it's garbage. Um, the nails do not last more than a day, maybe two if you're lucky, because what that formula is, it's a self-leveling gel formula. And in order for your nails to last, you want it to be like a th thick layer. But um, with that one, like it's, it's weird because it doesn't matter how many layers you put on of the gel, it still comes out really thin on your nails. And so my, like they would come off sometimes even the same day I did them and I was not happy. So I don't use that kit anymore. Um, I don't recommend it anymore. Uh, shoot, hold on. Okay, this is one of the kits that I now use. I love the Kiss Company, but I just don't like that other kit. This one is um, a lot better, and it's a lot stronger, and it's mistake-proof, too. So, basically, this one, it has the gel, and you just brush on the gel like regular nail polish after you apply the tips. Also, it comes with natural, and it comes with white. So you can choose whatever your preference is. And then you basically just brush on the gel like regular nail polish and then you will dip it into the acrylic powder and then you want to take like the end of like a folded paper towel or something and just lightly brush off the excess and then you're going to brush on the gel again and then dip it again and brush off the excess powder and then brush on the gel one more time and then it says to spray the activator after that but what I like to do is one more layer of acrylic first and then do the gel and then spray the activator. So I really like this kit a lot. I've used it a number of times in the past. These last me, they've lasted me up to three weeks before. And um, if you've been following my channel, you know that I wash dishes at McDonald's five nights a week. Well, four nights now, but often five because they call me in a lot. But anyways, this will hold up. This kit is very good, and I do recommend it. Um, lately, I have not used this one lately, but what I've been using lately is also by Kiss, and it's these glue-on nails. Now, I've used glue-on nails in the past, and like it, it was like a long time ago, and they weren't very good then, so... I quit using them for a while and you know I was going to the salon and nine times out of ten I was paying for nails that I did not like so then you know that's when I went through like the DIY kits and everything and then um, lately I have been seeing these now these ones I know have been out for a couple years but I just noticed them recently and it says that it's um, salon, salon acrylic, meaning salon acrylic strength. And I really, I like the pink and whites. I don't know if you can see, but they are like pink or whatever. Those are my favorite ones. And um, they're really easy to apply. It says ultra flexible, flawless fit, no bubbles never chips and 10 times stronger and you get 28 of them in here you get your glue you get your file you get your manicure stick you I mean you get all that instructions these I have been wearing these for I want to say about two months I think yeah two three months I've been using these and I absolutely love these. I absolutely love these. They're so easy to apply. You cannot mess it up. They last, they've lasted almost a month for me. I kid you not. I had these on also when I was in Myrtle Beach and I was working 40 hours a week at McDonald's down there too. And I had these on 99% of the time and they lasted they held up through dishwashing they held up through everything um so i do highly recommend these they do not like they're not thin at all they're thick 
so they're not gonna like split or anything on the ends like you see on like the cheaper ones or the thinner ones which I absolutely hate it drives me nuts but yeah these highly recommended depends on where you get them for the price um, Walmart has them I've only found them at Walmart and Walgreens <clears throat> I don't really look for them at Walmart anymore because every time I go to Walmart like they're not their shelves are pretty much empty and their racks are empty um I did go and I found the last kit at Walmart last week so I got that and I'm wearing them right now as you can see and then these ones I bought today at Walgreens at Walmart, they're like maybe 5 or $6. These ones were $7.99 at Walgreens, so they are a little bit more expensive, but it's only like a dollar more. And <laughs> they were buy one, get one half off, and of course it was the last one at Walgreens. I wasn't even going to get them because honestly I don't really need any more right now, but I thought I better get them because these pink and white ones, they go really fast. They're popular. So, yeah. Um... That's basically all that I have to say in this video. Um, I want to thank you guys for watching. And don't forget to leave a comment below. If you have any like video requests or anything, um, just let me know and I'll see what I can do. But um, yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Alright, bye.